have Field Roast, Tofurky, Gardein, and Trader Joe's. Yeah. yeah. And I got most of them at Whole Foods except for the Trader Joe's one. Obviously. They're kind of expensive. Yeah? Yeah. Which was it per thing? This one was $575. Liar. This one was $422. Why this are you one was lie? a salt. So the main ingredient of all of these is basically wheat processed to be sort of like a spongy, meaty kind of texture. Mm -hmm. It's called Vital Wheat Gluten. Also, each one of them comes with a gravy packet. That's powder. Well, you gotta mix this with water. Oh. But this one's straight up. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks like vomit. I was never really a big fan of gravy in the first place. Oh no? Except for that one time when you made that mushroom gravy, that was really good. Why, thank you. Yeah. So all of these are cooking except for one of them. I left this one. Uncooked. For you to do and for an unboxing special. You wanna open it up? Okay. I know you like opening boxes. I do like opening boxes. What's gonna be inside? <laughs> it's the loaf. That is a loaf. quality loaf. Vacuum sealed. Oh, <laughs> there's the gravy. So that's your standard package for a vegan holiday roast. Gardein, what happened here? You tell me, man. Well, this is the first one that I did. Okay. And I wrapped it in foil yeah. as per instructions. And when I took it out of the foil to let it bake for the last 10, 15 minutes, yeah. a lot of the breading fell off. It fell off. It looks like it was melted off in like front of a fiery incinerator. It looks like a naked mole rat. <laughs> Good stuffing. Yeah. Got that chewy garden texture. Mm hmm Yeah, I feel like all these, it like, it like, you cut it open and then look at all these great things and then you cut it open and look at all these things all smushed together in a little loaf. I do like the breading on the outside. It's very tasty. What's left of it? Yeah. You want to do the thumbs up thing? How about it? Does it pass the test of would you bring this to a holiday thing? Well, that's conditional. I would try to. I'd bring this to a holiday thing. All right. Yeah, I, I bring it, but be careful about taking the foil off. Yeah. Well, also, something we should note is that most of these are intended to be presented like a roast is with vegetables mm. and onions and all that stuff. We didn't do any of that. We just did the bare bones. Bare roast. Welcome, little turd. That is no little turd. Oh, holy turd. <laughs> <laughs> I squeezed you out my butthole. Uh, if you squeeze that out your butthole, I would be really concerned for you. I mean, that's gonna be the size of a baby. Tofurky. Tofurky. Um, Long time in the game. All right. Lots of alternative. Outside meals. looks like the least appealing. Inside with the wild rice and the stuffing, the stuffing looks the best out of all of them. It does look really good. You can see the wild rice. You can see all the little bits of it, you know. <clears throat> Vegan natural flavor. Mmm. I gotta get my oh, own just, slice just here. Just cut here. You can just cut this in half. <laughs> also, this is um, the only one that did not come with its own gravy. Yeah. It recommended a base of olive oil, soy sauce, and sage, which I rubbed on it before roasting it. You don't rub liquids. You baste. I brushed it on there. Very salty on the outside. Mm hmm There's a lot, there's a thick layer of outside. Yeah. It's like a cave. A cave? Yeah. Like a, you gotta go into the cave, get the rice treasure. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not good. Yeah, I wouldn't bring this to a party. I don't think I'd bring it to a party either. No. I would be very happy to eat this yeah, if somebody gave it to me. After eat it. going out for drinks late at night, come home, find in some fridge, I just pick it up and just like eat it like a giant turkey leg. And you don't have to do dishes. All right. Mm hmm. Field rose. So this comes with a porcini mushroom gravy. What Is does it? it look like? It's got texture to it. It's kind of like a ham. It's not too hard to cut into. That's nice. It's like a loaf. I do not like the texture of this one. Mmm, I like it. It's good with that gravy too. I don't like it. It's like kind of firm, but then it's like kind of like mashed potatoes on the inside. It just kind of all blends together and it's mushiness. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's kind of like eating a giant loaf of seasoned bread. But like soggy bread. You love bread. But it's like soggy. I think we know what your answer is then. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it'd be fine to bring to a pot roast and not eat it yourself. I was gonna say I'd bring it to a party and eat the whole thing myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'd bring it with you and you could eat the whole thing. I think we got it figured out. Yeah. 
I think if you ate this whole thing, you would feel pretty gnarly. But if, if you ate, yeah, if you ate the whole thing, thing of anything, uh -huh. you'd feel gnarly. I don't know, if you ate an entire um, head of cabbage, you'd probably be all right. Oh, you'd probably feel really gnarly. Yeah? Yeah. If you ate an entire glass of water, you'd feel fine. You'd still feel very weird. Have you ever had ice water soup? No. Trader Joe's. As you can imagine, this one was the least expensive. He said it tasted like fried chicken. Oh, cool. It looks like fried chicken. Yeah, it's got a nice fried crispy bread on the outside. Do you want me to heat it up in the microwave? Uh, no, it's okay. All right. Yeah, no, let's heat it up. Mmm. Not bad. Nice breading. Yeah. Good seasoning. Yeah. That's so good. A little bit of spice. Lentils. Gravy tastes better with the um, with the roast than it does on its own. This one had a little bit of the uh, the breading issue when I took it out of the pan, so I was extra careful with it to not scrape it off. So oh. just be aware. So the breading's all your fault. Well, this is good. Ooh. Yeah, I'm into it. it. Does remind me of fried chicken. I'd bring it to a party. I'd bring this to a party. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is your favorite? I think this one. Yeah. Or the gardein. The Gardein was the first one? Yeah. So the two ones that tasted most like chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This one's definitely got the visual appeal down. Well, you messed it up, so. You try it. <laughs> you know what? We're making it feel real bad. <laughs> we're, making, we're making the naked mole rat feel bad. Yeah, it's our, it's our beautiful baby <laughs> naked mole rat, and it's Christmas news. <laughs> but I would say I probably wouldn't buy any of these, mm -hmm. ever outside of uh, doing a taste test for YouTube. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing wrong with buying them. Well, what if you're going to like a big party and you don't want to cook, you know? Sure, these are a good option. Yeah. You could always make a lentil loaf like we did in one of our episodes. Or... Don't want to cook, don't want to cook. Just want to buy something. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? Mm, I'd probably say, I think the Trader Joe's one was my favorite. Yeah. I didn't think any one of them was terrible. Mm-hmm. Well, that was fun. Yay, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, babe. Merry Christmas. Mmm. -hmm. You want to wash this down with a refreshing bowl of ice water soup? Sure. Mmm. Oh, look at that. So fresh. Can't believe you've never had ice water soup before. Mmm. Perfectly seasoned. Just makes drinking water gross. Makes drinking water fun. Would you rather um, sweat mayonnaise or poop a softball for the rest of your life? Sweat mayonnaise. Wait, what? Well, yeah, sweat mayonnaise. Because if you poop a softball, then everywhere you go, you're going to clog up the toilet. It's not a literal softball, it's a softball-sized poop. Yeah, it still can't fit down the toilet. You'd have to carry a poop knife. <laughs>